Well, it's a Wednesday night, and me and Stu are on a small little water um, for the night. We've only got here, only got here at half five or something like that. Um, just set up now, just just well, just got my rods in now. I think I filmed the rain just, Jesus, it bucketed it down. We got here and it went black, I said to Stu. I think I'm going to set my bivvy up just in case because uh, there's a little, few little spots coming down. Just got my bivvy set up on it, just bucketed it down and I was like oh my god check my phone and it said like um, rain ended in 15 or 20 minutes something like that so um, I just set my rods up and my bivvy ready um, put my ronnies on and um, just waited and then it passed um, and it's not too bad now so we're on for the um, carp tonight it is a carp and cat water um, it's, it's quite a tricky water sometimes this I've never done that well on here, um, never had like loads of runs or anything of a night or you usually get one, if the, one, maybe two if you're lucky. So uh, it's perfect water for a quickie overnighter because i um, got work in the morning. So I'll, I'll be up for what, half five, quarter to six, um, be on for half seven. So perfect night, for, uh, perfect night, perfect water for that because you're not plagued with runs say played and like going to a runs water like we did at Founders and you're getting cat, cats all night it's literally one maybe two fish if you're lucky between us so it's, it's good for a night and um, yeah we'll see what we're both hoping for a cat really so I'm on I'm on at the moment I'm on a solid bag and just on the other rod's got a Ronnie on with two both with manila pop-ups um, like an idiot well, I don't know why you always remember as you're pulling into, pull, pulling into the fishery but as I was pulling up to the gate of here I thought I've not brought me boilies can't believe it but I don't I don't really need that much I brought some particle which basically I've emptied my fridge again my freezer and mixed it all up and just made a like a, a little buffet a little cart buffet so I've not brought tons of bait I'm only here for like say only here overnight so I've not used any boys, I'm using that and then I've, just, I've brought me uh, my solid bag pellet so I'll use that as well. Um, I'm going to see what Stu's on. I'll show you where I'm fishing now and we'll go and see Stu. Um, I think he's just about set up. So I'll go, I'll show you where I'm fishing now. So basically, both my rods uh, and tight up to the island like so. One's in the gap there on the left, a little bit right at the middle of the screen. I've used my boat, I know it sounds a bit daft because it's about bloody 30 foot away but I've pushed it right in as far as it'll go without being dodgy and then the other one is like that other little divot there and I, I put a lead through first and there's a bit of branches and stuff on one swim so I've dragged them out so they, they seem pretty clear now because I've pulled them I think, I think they're down there because there's one of them pulled some branches out like that so they seem pretty clear now so I should get away with it um, but yeah, it's pre pretty standard, pretty standard for me, um, Ronnie Riggs and the Solly Bags. The only difference is today, um, I've got some bat leads on, them captive bat leads on. I forgot I had them, to be honest. And um, it keeps blowing a gale and I save getting the beeps all night. Um, I put them on and it'll probably do a bit of good because um, it's only a small water, save and spooking off the line. When me and Stu got here, they, we didn't really see much. So one fish down that end near the gate, uh, just one. That was it. There's a guy just opposite behind that little island thing. There, he's opposite me, and I seen one ghosty when the, just before the rain started. A ghosty popped up just on the island there. Well, that, apart from that, I've not seen a single fish. Um, it's not really surprising though with the weather. It's not the best. Good, it's carpy weather, but um, it's not the best for spotting fish because, well, look at the bloody colour of the water as well. It's brown, absolutely chocolate. But we're seeing, we're still hopeful, we're still hopeful. Big stew, big stew. Seems ages since we've been fishing together, doesn't it? A long while, a long, long while. A long while. Well, I'll only, we've only done a few midweek, haven't we? We've done SERP. Well, we blanked. I blanked twice at SERP. Oh, I've done and, and you blanked, I haven't you? I've only had 
one cart this season, aren't they? I don't no, know. No, two, we had one eye common, didn't we? Where was that from? On um, Founders. Oh, he had one from Ryan Hill as well. Yeah. He had one what? from Ryan Hill, he had one from Ryan Hill. Oh yeah, he had one from... Second visit, couldn't yeah. believe it. <laughs> one from Founders, one from Ryan Hill, yeah. and um, I had one off Serp, didn't I? When yeah, I when I was, yeah, he was on your own. But I've not done very well, to be honest with you, but neither of us have, have we? Yeah. We've done really well on... On one of the other waters. On one of the other waters. Oh, little windy pops. Oh, oh. oh. They're both windy whopping. But uh, he's blowing a gale. Where are you fishing, Stu, on that corner? I've got one. In your normal? Yeah, I've got one on Ghosty, where I lost Ghosty face. Oh yeah, yeah, there. There. And I've got I bet one. you're fishing on that tree. That there. Are you fishing down there on that tree? Yeah. There. Yeah. Thought so, thought Why? so. Why did you think so? Because <laughs> that's where you always fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, where are you fishing, Graham? In the water? <laughs> I'm just fishing there on that corner. But the, the weather looks mega, doesn't it? It does for fish, yeah. It's a bit blowy as, blowy as Ken, isn't it? Hey. Blowy, proper yeah. blowy. Low Ooh, pressure. That's mine. The how, am I get, how am I getting bleeps on a bat leaded? The weather gods are in our favour today, aren't they? But I hope so. We'll see what happens. Aye. Could do, with a, could do with a fish, couldn't we? Oh, we could do with a fish. Definitely. So what secret bait are you using today, oh, Stu? Well, that wouldn't be a secret, would it? Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you using? So, I've got... Oh, it's in. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, his rod's nearly gone in. <laughs> he's gone. So, I'm on. Oh, well, that was exciting. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. A bit of a... Bit of action. Bit of something to watch. I'm on... Um, I don't actually know. I'm on a, <laughs> Are you asleep? I'm on a yellow floral pop up fished over. Oh, um, corn, corn by the jumps. Yep, yeah. Fished over corn. So kind of like match the hatch ish um, on one rod. And I'm on a brown bottom bait. I think it's like a, a aniseed flavour. Oh, yeah. It's just something to be honest with you. What some so guy you've been give me, I will give him. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a freebie. And I thought. <laughs> Need to try them out because they're the free, and, and uh, they smell. I've got, I've got them, yeah, they smell, and I've got them in the bag. And then they're just fished over some. Uh, he's fished over the bug. Oh, ooh, the bug, the bug, uh, boilies. So yeah, I'm a bit mixed and matched, but who cares? Didn't you bother, did he? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Carp or cat? Lunch then, if he's got one, mate. He's been here all day, hasn't he? Yeah. He said since this morning. His first fish. I reckon he's got ghosty. Do you think ghosty face? I think ghost. He's on ghosty island, isn't he? Yeah. I won't film him. I won't film him anymore. Coming up to nine o'clock now, and absolutely no, it's happened. Very quiet. To be honest, I've not really expected anything to happen. The wind's just died down a bit. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to do now, I'm going to redo my rods. I just want to double, ch I'm just going to use the rest of my bait basically and I just, um, I just want to check that I'm clear on next to that island before I leave it for the full night because uh, I'm moving, he's like, why are you going to move them? So I'm not moving them, just, um, just want to check that it's clear. It's nothing worse really in the morning, you've been snagged up all night because you've not checked. So I just want to clear my mind and uh, redo my rods just so I know I don't pull any branches in and anything under them under them bushes. So yeah, just got to have a reel in now. Do it now before it gets too late. There's nothing worse than doing your rods, leaving your rods till just before dark, and then you end up something happens, and you have to get them in in the dark, and everything it just takes ten times longer. So I'm just going to redo them now. And. Um, I reckon it's going to be dark before 10 tonight because of weather. I've had the longest day of the year now, only just like, but I know last night it went dark, about 10 ish. Brighter. Um, hopefully it'll stay dry now till I pack up in the morning. Uh, I've seen a few little fizzers, one boshed out near Stu's left rod as well before when I was in my bivvy. And I've seen a big load of bubbles come up near his left hand rod as well, just the other side of the bush. So there's definitely something near his rod. 
Now I've had a couple of little fizzes and a couple of little liners. So I think they are moving around. It's just whether they, they eat. All right, let's get this rod done and dusted for the night. And then I'll catch up in a minute. Well, that's it. The rods are done. It's gone nine o'clock now. They're just same place, just out there against the island, both of them. So one, well, same as same. One on a solid bag, one on just a runny. Um, same bait. That that gubbins there. Not much left. That and some um, manila boilies pop-ups on the runnies and that's all I'm using so fingers crossed now we get another one <laughs> fingers crossed we get one actually not another one not had one yet but yeah that's what I'm using let's just, just see if Stu's in bed he's a lazy get I only left him 10 minutes ago to do me rods and guess what He's frigging tucked up in bed. He's unreal. <laughs> He's one lazy shit. <laughs> Look at the state of that grown man in bed at nine o'clock. Hey, hey, I'm so comfy. Them tea bags do you in? What, them alcoholic ones? <laughs> Mate, them herbal out. bags, them herbal tea bags. Are you not tired after that tea bag? No, I'm going to have a chill now before that, I go to bed. That just relaxes me to death. I, like, I can't keep me. I'm going to sleep now. Are you? Okay. Oh my god. I'll be asleep in half an hour. Oh, I love coming fishing with Stu, such good company. <laughs> the only thing is, I'm still getting liners now because the wind picks up. Alright. Oh, I've just redone my rod, so sorted. Right then, I suppose best leave you if you're bidding me off. See you in the morning, lad. <laughs> no, I'll see, see you after with a fish, for, hopefully. I'll see you in the night for a fish. Hopefully. Have right. you got your walkie on? I will put it on now in walkie talkie. Talkie. Talky walker, they can never remember what button does what when they get a run, they just just spin it off in the end. Yeah, the, the one on the left, Paul. Yeah, alright, dude. So is it happening tonight? I hope so. After that blank last time, I hope we get one. At well, least it, one. It was kicking off near my left rod, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, we saw two, well, saw fish bosh out twice, didn't we, right near that tree. So hopefully that'll go. Oh, yeah. And then. Right. Alright. Okay, hopefully, you. I'll catch you later, Stu. See you in the night, mate. Aye. So that's what I really love about coming fishing with Stu, he's really good company for the hour that he's up. So I'm just going going bed now as well, not going bed, we're going to have to chill for an hour to wind down. And hopefully one of these rods will go. Like I say, such a small water, it's a little tricky thing this. It can can produce a couple of runs or it can just be dead all night, it's strange. But yeah, just the three of us on. Yeah, that, that one before, well, it was only about 15 minutes ago, boshed out just to the left of that tree, come out twice. Right, let's retire to the boudoir and then um, hopefully we'll get some of it. So, 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 what a nightmare we're having, aren't we Grey? We're having a bad nightmare. This lad here has not even been to sleep yet. I've just managed a couple of winks, if that's the, the saying. Um, the wind... Not quite 40, about 20, 20 winks. 20 winks. The wind is absolutely bellowing in, isn't it? And um, we can't just can't keep the rod tips still. We're, we're, we're both bat led in. Beep, beep, oh. then, then nothing, and then you just drop it off and it goes beep, and you're like, oh. It's an absolute nightmare, isn't it, Greg? Yeah, it's horrendous. Like, um, it's about one o'clock now, you know. I know, yeah. But Graham has managed to oh. snifle a ghosty face. A ghosty face. Two small ones, what is it, about £10, pound, £9? Pound. It might even be the same one my boy had, my what son had top? off the surface, yeah. Has it got a bit of a rough mouth? Uh, mm, yeah, it could be, you know. Could be, could be the same one. I, is, I think his was. I did say before seeing a ghost in that You did. did. His was £14. Oh, no, this isn't that big, I don't think. I don't think this is quite £14. Beautiful colour, though, mate. Can you see it? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful colour. Yeah, 
I don't know, I reckon this is only about 10 and, mm, don't know, I'm getting a bit crap at Wayne now, I'm guessing a bit. <laughs> Getting a bit cra- crap at Wayne, <laughs> you've always been crap at Wayne. So there we are, anyway. It's a lovely fish though, all the same. Not beep jets, do you? Both of them have they? No. Frogs have not beep jets, so that's good. So we've we've I've pulled me my pod back, haven't I? Yeah. To to get some shelter from the trees. And I've just taken mine up to the back lens and open and see if that stops them. Yeah. Whee. Right. We didn't like that, did they? No, I didn't like that head torch. <laughs> No, the mouse on this is all right. It can't. Right, yeah, it might not be the same one. Can't be the same one. Well, there's you At least it's a fish. Yeah. And a bit, a few hours to go, yeah. So, chance of another. So here's Graham getting rid of his ghosty face. Getting rid. <laughs> getting rid of the old ghosty face. It's about. It's about. Three foot down to the water, that innit? It's hard work, isn't it? It is hard work. Well done, mate. Eee, not a blank this time, eh? Not a blank. You still a blanker, but. Serial <laughs> blanker. Well, that was a nice result. Um, to be honest, I've been awake for ages and I wasn't expecting it to go. Didn't think it was going to catch out tonight. Um, don't know why. It's just. So I was daft, but I think because the wind was that bad, I thought, all right, it's not going to go this, even though I, know, I do know that's good carpy weather. Yeah, right hand rod that was, that was my um, solid bag rig. So, yep, chuffed, chuffed, only small, but I'm not bothered, it's a fish, isn't it? Yeah, nice, uh, nice ghosty. Yeah, I thought I'd sussed my rods, but it's just, just, just picked up the phone to do this, and uh, my rods just beeped, so... Stu said if his cabbie's on he's reeling in, he said he can't hack it all night, it's beeping, it's just, I don't know, I'd take my bobbins up to my battle head tight and it's still beeping, it Just I think it's because the water's that far away from the end of the rods, can't get the rod tips in the water and it's like proper blowing a gale, I don't know what that audio is going to come out like of the fish because it's proper howling, but anyway, must be coming up to half one now so I'm going to get my head down I'll try to anyway so catch up with you morning or later morning oh I did eventually get some sleep last night oh my god it bucketed it down as well it um well, my rod stopped beeping since I tightened it up a bit more um and then uh, the rain come down, I don't know what time, but I thought, there we go. Anyway, it smashed it down for a bit. Uh, so obviously it stopped now, like, but I'm not got a clue what time it stopped. I did drop off, so well, I just picked up my phone to do this and just had a couple of bleeps. Um, my sewing bobbin just twitch, so something could be on the feed near me be on the feed near me um, bait so still a chance yeah but I have already got an hour left it's like quarter quarter set uh, and quarter six now so uh, I'm just gonna wake up for 15 minutes and then start packing up I suppose oh Stu doesn't look like Stu I doubt he didn't call me or anything so um, Quite uneventful apart from that one carp. But what crap weather it was last night. So we'll see, we've got an hour left. Not an hour before I pack up. Uh, before I leave to go to work. So we'll see. Fingers crossed we'll nick another bite. But it's been out there now since one o'clock without a run. So there's not that much chance. Are you awake, Stu? Yeah, mate, just having me coffee up the moment. Ah, oh, right. Nothing, nothing happened last night. I didn't get any calls, no liners or anything. Just really.
release one. <laughs> I'll talk to you at walkie talkie filming. <laughs> I've just released one. Oh, have you? Have you had, not, have had five, have you, three nights? 73 pound cat. <laughs> well, Stu, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? And you know what? It's just started raining. Oh, so it's it was just walkie talkie. It started off with a mare, didn't it? Yeah. We had a mare at first with um, not the water level being so low and not being able to drop the tips far enough. And the wind just had playing havoc, didn't it? Yeah. So we both ended up backledding and <coughs> it, it, it worked for a bit and then I had to pull my pod right back to try and get as much line as I could behind the shelter of that. Um, everything. The underground, call it. <laughs> yeah. It's just been... <laughs> been hard, hasn't it? Oh, mate, it kept me awake all night, liners after liners after liners. But not from fish, just the line being blown, so... Oh well, that one out. we should have fucking smashed it yesterday, to not yeah, last night. The, all the planets had aligned, didn't they? The weather gods were on our <coughs> side and everything, but it just didn't happen, did it? No. I mean, it happened for you, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I had one. I was expecting a cat, if anything. Mm. But it's quarter to seven now, anyway. We're going to be off in quarter fi- to seven? Going to be off in 15. Yeah, to get to work, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> the joys. <laughs> At least we got some sleep in the end. I'm in the dentist at nine, having a filling. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I've got a meeting at about ten. I'm, I'm clear this today, so I'm all right. I feel all right, though. I, got, I did get some sleep. Yeah, I, I did. get as much as an army do. So. Just, just a solid six hours, not eight. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, them tea bags, if anybody struggles the sleeping tea bags. fishing get them twining sleep tea bags yeah. you, have, you have one at about seven o'clock and then another one just as you like ready to go to bed about an hour before you're ready to go to bed and i'm telling you now they whack you out i have slept all right since i've had them last okay. three times i've, sl- I've gone sleep forget all them carpy small carpy pillows bring your house pillow <laughs> house pillows a game changer i think yeah i've got i just plump the other one out i just i just put this top in me is that what you do p- pillar bag and then i've used that and it's all right i'll be honest with you i've been bringing that as well <coughs> have you both use pillow for what you use on an airplane that's been good oh well time to reel in dude oh well next where are we going next what's next so we want to go right hill don't we driver i i think the plan should be <coughs> next week Either go to Brian Hill for 48 hours, yeah. Friday morning till Sunday morning, yeah. Or Tetton. Yeah, you've not been yet, have you? No, I've not been there. Or Tetton, Friday, Saturday afternoon, sorry, till Sunday. I'd I'd love to do that as well. I've not been there. Right. I, and it'd just be Tetton to put fish on the bank, or Brian Hill to get a special fish. Let's make it happen, Graham. <laughs> I'm prepared to do any of them. You let me know. Right. Okay. Well, you heard the man. You heard the man. <laughs> we probably end up going round hill, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Depends if we can get fishing next this weekend. I'm knackered. Um, birthday, daughter's birthday this weekend, so I won't be going anywhere. Hence, doing this midweeker, and then so it'll be the weekend after. Might even get a midweeker in next week, yeah, we'll see. So, just got the last bit of, oh, last bit of um, packing up to do there. 10 minutes, five minutes, low batter up, an opsky. So anyway, at least we got one fish on the bank this time. Better than last, last time at Serpent time, just bloody blanking, I couldn't believe it. Twice I blanked at Surf overnight, yeah. I think I'd done three sessions on there. The first one they had two out and then they had bloody two blanks. But only one fish come out. Anyway. Thanks for watching as always and catch up with you next on the next um fishing trip.